Okay, so here we have a straight wire 15 meters long oriented along the y-axis lying below a compass as shown. The wire is much longer than is shown here and the diagram is not to scale. The compass is centered on the origin and is 4 millimeters above the wire. When a conventional current of I amps flows through the wire, the compass deflects 8 degrees to the west. So here we have the compass and the needle deflected 8 degrees to the west and the wire, which all of it is not shown, running on the y-axis. So the first part, on the diagram, we're going to draw the direction of conventional current I in the wire and then briefly explain how we determine this. So to find the direction of the conventional current, you're going to have to use the right-hand rule. So we have the needle pointing left-ish, left-ish. So the right fingers are going to curl to the left like this. And then if we do that, the current is going to point down. So right, right here on my hand, hand. So the current goes this way, kind of wraps around. I'm sorry, not the current. The uh, the magnetic field. So the wire is, or the the needle is being um, affected by this magnetic field that's curving around the wire like this. So we're gonna do this and wrap our fingers around, and that way our thumb is pointing down. So that's the current. The current is flowing down the wire. So right here we have I flowing down this wire. For part B, we're going to determine the magnitude of this current flowing through the wire, and we're going to show all of our work. Um, the Earth's magnetic field has magnet of, magnitude of 2 times 10 to the negative, negative 5 teslas at this location. So here, here I've drawn out the components of the magnetic field. So we have the, the magnetic field of the Earth going north, and the magnetic field of the wire, which was this curving motion going to the left. And here we have theta, which is 8. So we have the vertical component of the earth, horizontal of the wire, and then the resultant field, which can be shown by this needle. So what we're going to do, we're going to take the tangent of that 8 is, is uh, equal to the magnitude of the wire's magnetic field over the earth's magnetic field. So that's how we got this equation right here. And then we're going to substitute in the, the 2e negative 5, which is given to us right here. And we're going to multiply that by the tangent of 8 to find the magnitude of the wire's magnetic field, which is right here. And then we're going to substitute that in to the equation to find I. So we know that R is much is much less than the length of the wire. So, so that means that gives us this equation right here. The magnetic field of the wire is equal to um, mu initial over 4 pi times 2I over R. So we substitute in the thing we got here, right here. And we set that equal to this equation, and we plug in R, which is 0 0.004, and then we solve for I. So we do all this math, and we get 0 0.0562, and instead of that unit, it's just going to be 0 0.0562 amps, and that is our answer.